Hello, Violet here. I'm excited for another music moment. I've learned that I should pause just a little bit because it takes some time for this to pop up on Facebook Live. So um, I will go into my introduction, but I'm just holding a little bit so that you all get to come in and join me. Um, this, this time of crazy tech where you have to figure out the new ways to do things. So um, again, Violet here. Um, I am singing to you from my second floor. I have a music duo, the second floor, and the second floor came before COVID, so it's not just because I'm singing from my second floor. Um, my music partner, Jerry Amari, shout out, who uh, works very hard each week to record and get the music over to me so that I can come and sing live with you. Um, he and I used to sing um, and practice on the second floor of my old home. And that whole floor was dedicated to music prior to children. Um, but anyway, now I'm singing to you, ironically, from my second floor due to COVID. But, um, for another time. Very excited this week to be doing a fun new cover for us. It's a Fleetwood Mac song, The Chain. And the music is amazing. Um, I love this song and I love the harmonies and everything about it. But I dug in, because that's what I do, I dig in to try to understand. Um, and I dug into some backdrop on the song um, and it's actually super interesting. This song is one of the only songs that's truly accredited to being written by all five band members of Fleetwood Mac. Um, what happened was they, they, were all, they all had written pieces of music that they had tried to have produced and none of which were accepted. And this song became the culmination of a splicing and dicing of all these different pieces of music that each individual member had written. Um, even more fun, they ended up having two engineers work on the splicing of this in, in the sound lab. Um, that really resonated with me. I think it's kind of cool. So when you listen to the song, you can see like, you wonder who wrote which parts. Um, and then culturally, like a cultural reference, this song became a reference back to the band and where they were in their life cycle because they were splintering. They were all breaking apart. And so it's also become associated with that with regards to Fleetwood Mac. So um, I'll cut my gab. Um, I will partner this song up with um, Cindy Lauper's Time After Time. So thank you for joining me. I'm so excited and I never wave and stuff in the comments during, but I always comment back to you. So please do comment. I love to be able to respond back. All right, here we go. Let me cut, the mu cut to the music. Thank you. 
thank you for joining me again for another music moment. Again, shout out to my music partner, Jerry Amari. I also want to shout out so many amazing people have tuned in to me today. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Doug. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Rosemary. Um, if I missed you, it's not because I want to miss you. Um, I always go in afterwards and comment back to you. So if you leave me a comment, I will answer. So please do. Um, love having you guys join me for another music moment. So I hope to see you next week. Um, so my ask, leave me a comment so I can respond to you. In this new world of COVID, I'd love to interact. All right. Bye, guys.